please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Phone link. I'm Huey Poplock. Microsoft first announced your phone and your phone companion apps back in October of 2018. Since then, they have started to bring capabilities and content from your Android phone to your Windows PC. They have been evolving the app experiences. Their latest evolution brings a new name to unify the experience. With that, they have introduced Microsoft's PhoneLink as the PC app experience and Link to Windows as the mobile app for Android devices. I have been using your phone with my nearly five-year-old Samsung S8 Plus phone. This past week, I upgraded to a Samsung S22 Ultra. Microsoft just recently upgraded my Your Phone to the new PhoneLink. I want to show you how they work together. PhoneLink only works with most Samsung and Honor phones and Microsoft Duo. However, I discovered there is a similar app that works with most other Android phones and iPhones. More on that later. Let's take a look at the PhoneLink app. We go down to the taskbar. You'll note that it still says your phone when I put the mouse over it. That mouse over, I have not found a way to change what it says. That's probably in the coding and that'll be changed in an upcoming update. Right now, you will see a number 21, and that is a badge, which shows the number of unread messages and notifications on your PC's taskbar and in the phone link app. That feature can be turned on or off. By clicking the icon, it opens the app. Let's full screen the app and take a look at it. You'll notice that the app started out in settings. Whatever you were last doing in PhoneLink is what it will open to. So we'll come back to settings in a moment. Let's take a look over on the left to see what we have. We have first at the top, we have the phone and it is connected. It shows me the percentage of battery remaining on my phone. There are four items up here at the top. The first one is uh, do not disturb, and that's turned off. I really should turn it on while I'm doing this recording, so I'm gonna do that right now. So if someone calls, it will not show up on my PC screen. Next is the Bluetooth, and that's turned on. We've turned the volume off because we turned do not disturb on and the audio player is on. There is the badge that I showed you from the bottom, and it shows that there are 21 notifications. Let's click on notifications and take a look. It's, and it's showing me all of the notifications so we could open any one of them and take a look at it. I can also mark something as red, and I can reply to it from here. However, before I do that, what I would have to do is take a look at my phone. We need permission to display the phone screen, so I have to go to my phone, sign into the phone. It shows my screen. So now we are connected. So we can close this. Let's take a look again at the notifications we're looking at. Let's now go to the messages, and I can see all of my text messages. I can also uh, create a new one. I can answer one. So I can do any of my texting from this app without going to the phone. I can also look at my photos that are on my phone. I can look at all of the apps that are on my phone. And I've got a lot of them. And I can look at my call record. If you'll notice over here, it says connect your phone and PC. So I'm going to connect it. And now you'll see a dialing. So I can actually dial a number and place a call using the microphone and speakers or headset that's on my PC. 
instead of picking up my phone and making a phone call. I can do it right from my PC. And let's go to the phone. You will see what my phone is. You'll see that I can do anything on my phone. I can drag it, go to the next screen, go to the next screen. I can look at all of my notifications on the phone. It's just like using my phone, but I'm doing it with my mouse. If I want to go to, say, the Wemo, which is my IoT program, you can see I can turn on the bedroom light. I don't know if you saw it get a little bit brighter in here or not. Turn it off from here as well as tell Miss A to do it. But it's I can do everything that's on the phone. I can do it directly from my PC by using my mouse. Now let's take a look at the settings. You will see there's general, my devices, features, personalization, troubleshooting, feedback and community, and about. We're looking at general now. Remember the badge with the numbers on it? I can turn that feature off if I want right here. Under features, you will see that I have everything turned on uh, for each of the items. I'm not going to go into each one, but just I'm showing you that there's a lot of settings within the app. I have been discussing Phone Link by Microsoft, but it only works well with Samsung devices. In a step-by-step -step tutorial, Kevin Stratford shows you how you can send and receive text messages on a Windows PC using either an iPhone or an Android phone. Windows includes an app called Phone Link. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Dell Mobile Connect app, which is free and it works with all PCs and phone types. With Dell Mobile Connect, you can send and receive text messages, view phone notifications, make phone calls, and download pictures and videos from your phone to your PC, mirror your phone onto your PC, and even control your phone from your PC. You do not need a Dell computer to do this. This has been PhoneLink. I'm Huey Poplock.